Neil, you must be absolutely delighted with that after a, a derby victory in midweek to cap the week off with a terrific win here at Fort Park. Fantastic win, fantastic performance away from home against a team who are in really great form and I thought we dominated the game for long, long periods. So, again, a fantastic away performance and another clean sheet and, of course, the three points, which was vital. You're right, statistically, again, we dominated. I think after 70 minutes, it was something like 36% to Motherwell. You know, we had 60-odd percent possession. Again, a very controlled performance, similar to the derby in midweek. Yeah, I'm just, again, I'm going to say we should be putting teams away. You know, we dominated the first half and for a good 20, 25 minutes of the second half, you know, we could have picked them off. But Brandon's had a great chance. He's probably been too honest, Cliff. You know, he could have went down because the guys, put, you know, niggling away at him. And he's blazed it over and then made, you know, working. I, I, I still need to see the same in Murray one. I'm not convinced he was offside. Um, but, you know, again, our midfield were fantastic. And we look a threat going forward and we scored a great goal at a great time. And it was thoroughly deserved on the, the pattern of play. You know, if Motherwell had to change the shape because they couldn't cope. And then we changed the mental width and, um, yeah, it's, it's a great win, you know. And off he had to make one fantastic save and that'll do him the world of good. And the two centre-halves were... Absolutely phenomenal again. You do mention that we're maybe not turning the dominance into big victories, but you must be delighted. That's two clean sheets in a row. Defensively, we're looking really solid. Yeah, well, they found the rhythm, you know, and uh, back, backed up by Louis and, and Stephen, you know, and Marvin there does a great job for the, the boys as well. So, like, we are, at the minute, we're a bit thin on bodies, but the players here are playing at the minute, and the subs to the ferry came on, did a great job today. So, we march on. Martin Boyle got the goal. Persistence, really. He kind of just didn't give up on it. He got there before the goalkeeper. Probably not not scoring an easier goal in his career. Pace, you know. He got in twice earlier on, and he annoyed me because he miscontrolled one, and then he's turned out the other way. And he, if he turns, he's in on goal. But his movement's great, and he deserves the goal, and it'll do him the world of good. You know, he's he's got goals in him, and he's always liable to create chances for you. The second half, he was a real threat. But just they tired a wee bit towards the end, and it's a physical game here. I thought we didn't get enough protection from the referee, Cliff. You know, we had 21 fouls against us on Tuesday night. I don't know how many it was today, but every time we seen, particularly John, he was fouled more or less every time. And there was no yellow cards. There was, I, I, I want my players to get more protection. They're getting, you know, fouled incessantly, and it, it breaks up the flow of the game. Now, that's fine. I get that. But then the referee has to take control of that. John is that kind of player, though, that he will draw fouls. He does well to get himself between man and ball, and he yeah. will draw fouls. Yeah, but how many times does he need to get fouled, Cliff, before a yellow card comes out? Mm -hmm. I'm not begging for people to get sent off, or, but it's, it's like every time, you know, three or four times he's driving away, they're taking him out. Yeah. You know, they're just taking him out. You know, he's seen the one on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Guys, you know, that's a serious tackle. Yeah. And it should have been a red card, and I want my players to get more protection at times. And Bobby Madden, obviously an experienced official, he did let the game flow a bit today, to be fair to him. As you say, you don't want to see players getting booked, but if they deserve a book and they've got to get yeah. it. No, look, no one's more physical than myself. A player within the laws of the game, if you're fouling three or four times in a game, you deserve a yellow card. I didn't see that. And our players start to get frustrated by that. Um, so, anyway, I digress. We move on to Tuesday night against Kilmarnock, game in hand. Level on points from Motherwell, that gives us an opportunity to move above them. You must be delighted with the way things are going at the moment. The boys are really in a good place. We couldn't be happier. Like I've said, we've been playing well and, and not getting what we've deserved. You know, Celtic, Aberdeen, Celtic. You know, we played really well in all those games. Could have went either way of the games. And now we've got two back-to-back -back wins, thoroughly deserved. So we are dominating games and I think the style of football is very, very pleasing for the supporters. I'll close by asking you your opinion on it. I like to ask football people their opinion on it. Artificial surface at Rugby Park on Tuesday night. What's your take on them? I'm not a fan, you know, but you know, with the the economic climate in Scotland and with the you know the weather, I understand at a certain point. But certainly in the in the top division, you know, you like to play the game on grass. Does it give an advantage? Well, no matter where you go, the home team has an advantage because they're playing at home. We will have to deal with. We had, we had a couple of pitches last season, Queen of the South, Falkirk, you know, we negotiated pretty well. We'll just have to get on with it. And we'll have to see how the boys are. There's a few bumps and bruises in there. Um, but, yeah, we, we go into it with a lot of confidence, Cliff.